the story of the wind, once upon a time, in a small village, there lived a boy named Tom. Tom was a very curious child, who wanted to learn everything. One day, while playing outside, Tom saw big clouds in the sky. As he gazed at the clouds, he wondered to himself, what is happening with these clouds? Tom, wanting to know what clouds were, asked his mother. His mother explained that clouds were water vapor that rose into the sky through evaporation. When clouds accumulated in the sky, it would rain. Tom was surprised by what his mother told him. He immediately went outside to look at the clouds. While examining the clouds, he noticed tiny droplets inside them. His mother had mentioned that when clouds became too heavy, it would rain down in the form of these droplets. Tom wanted to see how clouds made rain. He took an umbrella from his mother and went outside. While observing the clouds, a drop of water fell. Tom was overjoyed when he saw the first raindrop, Tom loved raindrops. He opened his hands to catch them, and the raindrops fell into his palms. Feeling the raindrops between his fingers made Tom very happy, as Tom observed the raindrops, he also learned about the benefits of rain. Rain fulfilled the water needs of plants and trees and nourished the soil, Tom loved the rain. Whenever it rained, he would go outside to savor the experience. One day, while Tom was playing outside again, he noticed the wind blowing. The wind swayed the tree branches and carried away the leaves. Tom became curious about what the wind was. To understand what the wind was, Tom asked his mother. His mother explained that the movement of warm and cold air masses caused the wind. As warm air masses rose, cold air masses descended, creating the wind. Tom was amazed by what his mother told him. He tried to comprehend how the wind was formed. To better understand what the wind was, Tom decided to conduct an experiment. He placed a glass of hot water and a glass of cold water on a table. Then, he placed a feather next to each glass. Tom observed the movement of the feathers. The feather next to the hot water glass moved faster than the one next to the cold water glass. Tom understood that this movement demonstrated the formation of the wind. Feeling happy about learning how the wind was formed, Tom decided to explore its benefits. He asked his mother about them. His mother explained that the wind facilitated the movement of ships and the generation of electricity through wind turbines. Additionally, the wind dispersed dust and pollutants. Improving air quality, Tom was delighted to learn about the benefits of the wind. He realized that the wind was a crucial natural phenomenon. After learning about the formation and benefits of the wind, Tom developed a greater love for it. Whenever he saw the wind, he would remember how important of a natural occurrence it was.